So voila, that's a typical Anna Bay everyday outfit. You might also be wondering, okay, but wh where is the jacket, Anna? <laughs> and I'm gonna show you, which has been the most used jacket for me so far this year. And it's this Burberry, kind of very casual jacket. Okay, ladies, so here you can see my jacket. Really casual, but still elegant. And also, again, light colors. Light colors always make everything look more elegant, especially during these dark, fall and winter months and here i'm also matching it up with beige gloves so you see really nice and chic look that i personally use every day to run my errands and this way i always look elegant so ladies this is look number two and what has happened here well first of all this is not a fall and winter dress it's actually a spring or summer dress that we wear without anything underneath but this is a very good trick to do in fall and winter if you still want to wear some of those dresses it's not going to work with every single dress but with certain dresses like this it will what you do is that you put a shirt underneath or another type of long sleeve top it could be also maybe a turtleneck it could be uh, anything else you have to sometimes try it out in the mirror try different combos and this is how you really discover these things and for shoes I am wearing a small heel, it's actually a thick heel, and with this thick heel, I can actually walk around and do errands. Certainly, it might be difficult for me to walk all day long, but it depends, these shoes are actually quite nice. And my thought process with these shoes were that I wanted to add a little bit of heel to this dress, get that little raise and elongation, because this is what's important when you wear dresses that are quite long. You want to add a little bit of height to you, because if you don't, if you just wear something very flat, like a um, flat ballerina shoe as an example, then you might end up looking shorter. And I am aware that there are some petite ladies who cannot wear this length of dress because uh, simply that will make you appear much shorter but this is where it's important ladies that you are aware of your scale if you are average like me or if you're tall then you can definitely get away by having a look like this if you're petite you have to think about the length of the dress that you're wearing so outfit number three ladies so some of you might have recognized this look because uh, when I've been featured a lot in media they like to use this photo that I posted uh, once upon a time on Instagram uh, with this look and it just was very popular. However, I need to tell you though that these days I don't wear short skirts like this because I personally feel that you need to be uh, like in your best shape for that. I'm not currently really toned. I like to wear maybe shorter skirts when I'm really toned and I feel good. However, I need to tell you though ladies that you can wear more shorter skirts if you come kind of cover up in other areas like you can see here. I have over the knee boots, which I know some people think that no, but over the knee boots are not elegant. I actually disagree. I think they're quite covering and they're quite classic, meaning that they never really go out of style and they're quite useful to wear in winter and fall months because they're covering and you can wear them with dresses and well with skirts but also with trousers. So they're really versatile. And for this reason, wearing them with a uh, a skirt a short skirt is fine if you're wearing flat boots when you start wearing you know over the knee boots that have heel then it starts feeling a little bit like pretty woman and that's when you start feeling that maybe it gives you a little bit more of a cheaper look but like this you're wearing this turtleneck you're wearing a long coat you're wearing long boots and then you show a little bit of skin here it's okay also all of these colors are kind of very light but a little bit earthy neutral tones which is nice you can actually mix and match with quite a lot of colors without it looking out of place outfit number four you have heard me talk so much about equestrian style so what is equestrian style well, here you go. More equestrian than this it cannot get, ladies. Well, actually, it can if you wear proper equestrian pants, which I'm not. So I'm wearing typical equestrian boots. You can wear any form of boots. They don't have to be this type of equestrian style. You can wear just regular black boots that go up to here to achieve this type of look. Um, some contrasting color is nice to have so that you're not just wearing, you know, black trouser, which is kind of boring. I like for this look to wear maybe beige trousers because that feels very equestrian. 
Um, I also like this color, it's a bit more earthy, it's a bit different than what I usually wear. And as you can see, I'm wearing a pair of trousers that are very high waist, which is quite nice, especially when you are wearing boots. The reason for that is, when you wear boots, they will make you appear a little bit shorter because as you can see, the black really takes over so that cuts off the leg. But when you lift your waist up this high, you actually elongate all your legs. So you still keep some form of silhouette without shortening your appearance too much. And I like to also put a belt here to really emphasize on the waist. And you can see that I wear a black belt it matches everything else. To stay warm, I'm wearing a turtleneck and then I put on a black blazer. And black blazer also feels very equestrian style. While it feels more exciting than just wearing like a cardigan or just keeping it as a regular turtleneck. It gives a little bit of dimension to this whole look so that you're not just standing here with a plain turtleneck and that's it. You have a little bit more things going on this way. And the good thing about this look is that this is a really good look for every day and especially when you want to be elegant and chic without having to wear heels. Riding boots are perfect for that type of occasion. <laughs> Ladies, I have a free workshop for you. I'm going to teach you for a whole hour all those elegance do's and don'ts. And I know that many of you are committing these elegance mistakes and I really want you to stop doing those really, really common mistakes. So visit 10elegancemistakes.com and join this free workshop. It's only here for a limited amount of time, so make sure you sign up today because soon this workshop is going to disappear. All right, ladies, back to the outfits. This is outfit number five. So as you can see here, I'm wearing this suit. So this is a set, skirt and a jacket. And I really want you to be on the lookout for suits of this kind. Either it is with a trouser or if it is with a skirt like I'm wearing. Really do invest in these pieces because when you have a blazer that is a very nice and cozy material like this one is, it's also warming material, but it's also long sleeve. And this skirt is fairly long too, same type of material, meaning that this combo is actually gonna keep you warm. And you can just wear it as is. During some fall weather, we might be able to just walk out the door like this, or we have to maybe wear a jacket on top, depending how cold it is. You can see that I'm wearing it with boots that have a bit of a heel, because again, you could potentially wear this with some form of flats that maybe have a bit of a platform, like the first sneakers that I showed you. However, the most elegant look will be with some form of boots, plus it will make it look really feminine as well. And by the way, you have probably noticed this little belt. No, it didn't actually come with the outfit. And I want you ladies to start thinking about sometimes putting a belt on top of your outerwear to really mark this waist, because this will give you a more feminine silhouette it will also look more flattering for you. Because when you are not showing off your silhouette too much, you start looking bulky, you start looking wider, but marking that waist, you actually end up looking slimmer this way. Oh, and one more thing before we continue to the next outfit, you see, I'm actually not wearing black because I'm trying to really stay away from black as much as possible, although I still incorporate black in my fall and winter wardrobe. But here I'm wearing navy, and navy is a wonderful substitute for black because it's still kind of the same thing. <laughs> They're all neighbors in the dog department, but it's not as heavy as black can sometimes be to the eye. So for outfit number six, you can see that I've only changed dress. I've actually kept these heels on. And the thing is that I really am in favor for wearing this type of boots during fall and winter with dresses. It really helps keeping the warmth so that you can actually still wear dresses during the season without having to turn to pants, which is something that many people do, unfortunately. But as you know, here on my channel, we talk so much about how to stay feminine, and this is a really great hack for this type of season. Now, this dress is very, very warm, again, because of the 
fabric. Ladies, really pay attention to the fabric of the dresses that you buy for fall and winter season. So they cannot be the same type of fabric like your summer and spring dresses. They have to be warmer. And this dress is really warm. I'm actually boiling right now as we stand here filming this. But you also have to think about the sleeve length because you cannot really wear short sleeve dresses in fall and winter unless you do it like with the dress number two when you wear a shirt or other long sleeve top underneath. You also need to think about the length of the dress. Surely you might get away with a shorter dress as you saw earlier I wore a mini skirt. However, I would advise to buy a longer dress that maybe goes some, somewhere around calf length perhaps because that feels quite, quite covering. And as you can also see, this is pretty much almost like a monochrome look. The boots are dark, the dress is dark, and all of this creates a very elongating effect. So this is good for ladies of all heights, ladies who want to look a bit taller. Outfit number seven. And actually, I'm wearing again a summer dress. Yes, believe it or not. Well, maybe it's more like a spring dress, but this dress is supposed to be worn with, you know, just a regular pair of heels and it's a bit on the shorter side. However, I still would like to wear it in fall and winter because I benefit from the long sleeves, right? But how to wear it without making it be too cold? Well, I'm not gonna wear it with a pair of pumps or heels. So for this reason, I'm actually wearing it with my flat over knee boots. And what happens in this case is that actually it works because flat boots don't always work to wear with dresses. But in this case, it does because they're over knee it's one big line meaning that the legs actually look longer this way versus if I had a shorter boots that would end there another thing that helps the silhouette like I mentioned earlier is the belt because here I really put it as high as possible where my natural waist is and it creates this elongation as you can see so ladies, pay attention to this. This is a really good trick when you want to recycle a dress that you usually don't wear in fall and winter. Outfit number eight, ladies. And I am back to my favorite Anna Bay signature pants. And I'm also back to turtlenecks. I think I have a little bit of turtle fever today. But it's for a reason because it really keeps you warm and it's so easy then to style. Okay, what am I wearing? So I'm wearing a gilet. And gilet comes in all kinds of different shapes and variations. You can have long ones, short ones, belted, non-belted. So it's a little bit on how to choose a coat. You know that I have a three-part coat series that you can dive deep into if you are clueless in that department. But uh, gilets are really great because you can add some interesting elements to an outfit while having a bit of layering on top of you and that keeps you obviously warm but it also makes it look really interesting and as you can see the colors are now back to being light again very neutral colors so you can play around and mix and match with neutrals usually they all work fine with each other a little note on shoes as you can see my Anna signature pants they are on the shorter side and that's because it fits my body type so depending on your body type this type of uh, length or style of trouser might not suit you or it might, you never know until you try. <laughs> but if you want to copy me and apply a white trouser into your life too, then definitely find a white trouser that's going to have a shape that is suitable for your body type. That's really important to think about. My favorite shape of trouser is the one that is a little bit cut off because it gives an elongating effect, even though it sounds like it's actually gonna shorten your legs, it doesn't. And that is because there is a bit of a flare. I don't like to wear skinny trousers so much, as you know by now. So because the little flare out there, it helps keeping a bit of an elongation going. And as you can see, I'm wearing ankle boots. So these ones are in a light color. And I chose it specifically not to cut off the silhouette too much, to really elongate the leg and so that it matches and goes well with the pant color. Ladies, outfit number nine. So, what's going on here? <laughs> well, yes, here again we have another turtleneck. Maybe should I call this episode something about the turtleneck lookbook, I don't know. But, putting that aside, I am wearing all black, pretty much, which is something that I do enjoy doing in fall and winter, even though you have seen me wearing loads of lighter shades, although that's my favorite. But I think all black can look really chic. But in order not to make an all black outfit look a little bit too dull, it's nice to add something that really spices up and gives the outfit a little bit of 
well, I guess spice, right? Here you see me wear a statement coat, as I would like to call it. And that is because this coat on its own makes a big statement. There's loads going on, there's colors, there's print. It's pretty flamboyant, actually. And if you've taken my style personality quiz, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just go to stylepersonalityquiz.com and find out what's your style personality. Back to the coat. So when you're wearing a coat that is this loud, you actually don't really want to have too much going on in the rest of your outfit. Certainly, you can wear other colors than just black, but I think sometimes it's really nice to make a statement coat, get all the limelight on it. As you can see here, I'm wearing monochrome black in order for the coat to really stand out and to really shine and uh, be a complete centerpiece. I do think everybody should own some form of centerpiece statement coat because on a day when you feel a little bit gloomy, maybe you're a little bit sad, maybe you feel like, oh, I don't know what to wear, but I want to wear something that just lifts my entire mood, then a statement coat is gonna really do you that favor. So make sure you also get one. Last but not least, number 10. And ladies, fall and winter means that it's gonna rain a lot. Do you have an elegant rain outfit? thought so you need to go and get one and it's very simple and it's very affordable you just get a nice raincoat in your best color and some really nice and stylish rain boots and then you're covered because you know this outfit just kind of brightens your mood up instantly and it also protects you rain protection is important so don't forget details like this when you create your fall and winter wardrobe now if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe but now you need to go and watch my next video because there I'm gonna tell you how to look expensive in fall and I'm gonna give you even more ideas of what to buy and how to style yourself. I will see you in that video.